welcome back to my channel so today i want to talk about how i got into college here in the u.s without taking the SAT. and as you guys know i'm an international student so it's not really a common thing for international students to get in without taking SAT. so i wanted to talk about that today and also talk about various ways if various ways you can get um into a college here in the states without taking the start or any standardized test it is very possible to get into college into university without taking any standardized test so i want to share with i want to share that with you today if you're not a subscribe please do hit the subscribe button um hit the bell beside it so you can get notified when i post my videos and let's get started Okay, so as I said earlier, I didn't take that before applying to college and so what I did was to apply to a community college first of all and most times community colleges, they don't require that. They may just ask you to show proof of high school completion, your transcript and you may also be required to take a placement test. So that's what my community college required. I didn't have to submit any standardized test called like um, SAT or ACT or any of those other exams. So when I finished from my community college, I then transferred to a four-year college that offers bachelor's degrees and stuff. Most times when you're transferring to a university four-year college, they may not require SAT scores but you have to check with them and make sure that they don't require SAT scores so that when you're transferring you don't have any problems. I took credits at the community college and then I transferred the credits over to a four-year college where i am now so yeah it is very possible to get into college without taking any standardized test like i did there are plenty of ways to get into college without taking a standardized test one of them would be doing online learning you know like um enrolling in an, inst an online institution like university of the people or something like that university of the people is an online university so you just have to take your classes online and most times they don't require that but it varies from institution to institution so you have to make check with your university with the university to, to make sure that they don't require that for any standardized test also another option would be to for test optional schools. test optional schools are schools where they leave the whole decision of uploading your test course to you so you can you decide whether you want to um submit your test scores or not if you're not so confident in your test scores like maybe you got low step test or you didn't even take this test at all then you can um, choose not to submit your scores and instead look for other ways to present yourself as a very strong candidate as a very good student and someone who's worthy of, of the admission another option would be to look for test flexible schools. test flexible schools are schools that still require test scores but don't ask you to send like general test um stat scores or stuff they may ask you to send things like your ap scores or you know scores from sat subjects that you've already taken and you did very well in they also think that those reflect very highly of your academic ab ability so yeah test flexible schools they still require test scores but they have they give you various options that you can use to send in scores instead of sending in like standardized tests like um stat and act but they still require a score of some sort. Now, they also have test blind colleges. Now, test blind colleges, they don't require any score at all. Like, they don't require to send in any test score at all. They don't factor in your test scores when they are reviewing applications and looking at who to grant admission and stuff. So even if you send in your scores, they won't, they won't consider it at all, at all, at all. They won't consider it so, instead of wasting your strength sending your scores you have to look for other ways to make us to prove yourself to be a strong candidate An example of such a college would be like test plan colleges would be like hampshire college in massachusetts For test flexible schools an example would be new york university test optional school there are a bunch of test optional schools in the u.s you just have to go to fairtest.org and look at the list of test optional schools they have a whole bunch of schools over 800 universities there are plenty of schools out there that you don't need to take SAT for it is very very possible to get into college here in the states without taking your SAT so if you're an international student looking to come to school in the states and you don't want to take the SAT or maybe you think you didn't do so well in your SAT and need to bring down your chances of being accepted into a particular school first of all check if that school strongly require SAT it's 
very possible to still study abroad without taking the SAT. You just have to go to the school website and be sure to understand all the admission requirements and be sure that they have different options for sending the scores and stuff. And yeah, you'll be good. That's it for this video. I hope you did learn something. I hope you helped in some way. And be sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell beside the button so you can get notified when I post my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Deuces! Thank you.